Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today we talk about another uh, Space Marine uh, models or 40k models that you can use in Warhammer in Horus Heresy. Last time when I talked about the Legion specific units I forgot the Blood Angels and I don't know why <laughs> to be honest I have no idea. Um, so we will talk about this now. Um, okay so the Blood Angels Sanguinor can be a very, very flamboyant Praetor for the Blood Angels. Um, is there's, a th there's no 360 side of him, but basically I don't know what the backpack is, but if, the, if it's a normal backpack and it's wings, then I would give him a... Uh, I would give him a jump pack if, it, if it's not uh, a jump pack... If it's a jump pack, and I suspect it's the uh, jump pack the Blood Angels have on the rest of their models, then it should be totally fine. Yeah, he can be a very, very, very flamboyant Praetor or Champion or whatever. This is... This is... The armor mark is Artificer armor. Um... If you don't see it as Artificer Armor, I have no idea what you're seeing. Um, this is completely not any armor mark, any armor pattern that's uh, available right now. Or was in the Horus Heresy, clearly Artificer Armor, clearly very nice model to use. Then we have the Sanguinary Guard. Um... They kind of have the same thing, like the Sanguinor, except some of their knee pads are a Mark. You could say it's Mark a 7, but remember Mark 5 has very similar uh, knee pads in the round one, round ones. They, the knee pads from Mark 5 just, um, they just get a little get a little tip on the on the upper end of the um of the of the knee pad so could be anything these are perfectly in uh in in a artificer armor um there is no rules for sanguinary guard but the um Bodyguard units for Masters of the Legion come with Artificer Armor anyway. And the Death Masks are a thing in the Horus Heresy. Not the Death Mask of Sanguinius directly, but the Death Masks of whatever um, are a thing in the, Hor uh, in the Horus Heresy. So perfectly fine, um, perfectly fine bodyguards squad for the uh, for the blood angels um this one this chaplain uh also works perfectly fine in the horse heresy it's clearly a not an undisclosed armor mark in the horse heresy the blood angels chaplains would paint the armor black I mean, you can paint your Blood Angels champion, uh, you can paint your models the way you want, but in the lore they paint themselves black, and they have skull helmets, so this model is perfectly fine for the Horus Heresy. Um, also, I mean, you could, with some conversion, make him a Praetor or something. It's a very nice model. model. I've seen some conversions with him. Uh, they look awesome. I would definitely... Say, if you are a Blood Angels player, use this dude, because it's an awesome model. He comes with a jump pack, he has an Inferno pistol. All these things are things you want to have with Blood Angels. If you don't want to give him the Inferno pistol, just snip it off and give it someone else. And yeah, and then we come to the Tatra, uh, then we come to the uh, Librarian. This Blood Angels Librarian works for Horus Heresy as well. The Indomitus armor, as I said in the last video, was around. Um, you just have to shave off the Crocs Terminators, but 
that's not that bad it's not that hard to do um, and yeah that's basically what you need to do also I would exchange the storm bolter this is a storm bolter it's storm bolter in German so I don't know if it's not the storm bolter replace it with the combi bolter and you are perfectly fine you're perfectly good to go um, yeah and also he has like blood angels he has like the tears all over him and he's like a perfect blood angels librarian again if you want replace the arms with Tartarus arms you can maybe get away with it looking like a tart uh, with it with using him as a Tartarus model but I would say you would also need to replace the knee pa the, the legs kinda okay then we have the sanguinary priest it's the same as any other model in the Blood Angels range in, uh, in that it's clearly artificer armor no armor mark was ever built with <laughs> with uh, six pack armor I don't know maybe mark six because of the six pack you know it's a joke it's a bad joke okay move on um, yeah, you, you can use him as a sanguinary priest, uh, as an apothecary. You can't really tell what backpack that is, because it's an apothecary backpack. Perfectly fine model for uh, for the Horus Heresy. Um, yeah, and 24 euros, kind of on the expensive end uh, for the Horus Heresy, uh, considering you get two uh, sanguinary priests for uh, two... Apothecaries and resin for 34 euros or 38 something like that Doesn't matter. It's a good model now. We come to the 40k terminators and This is a fun one This armor was around in the Horus Heresy and the Imperial Fists and Iron Hands Had a lot of it I don't know the extent of other legions having this specific armor and rules wise it's the worst but if you like the look of it and the look of it kind of grows on me a lot in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, past few weeks then you can definitely use them you just have to shave off as i said the crux terminatus like the cross with the with the uh with the skull in it because that's a thing after the heresy and replace the storm bolters with uh, something something more akin to a combi bolter and then you are fine the assault cannon you can use for imperial fists it's not the iliastus assault cannon yes i know but you can still it's an assault cannon right i mean don't get too nit nitpicky here um, replacing the storm bolters with uh, combi bolters shouldn't be the hardest thing to do in the world. Um, shaving off the crooks terminators shouldn't be the hardest thing either. So, could use them w if you put in some work with the models. Um, now we come to Astroart the Grim, another Blood Angels model. Um, yeah, basically. Again, what I said, it's artificer armor, no armor. I mean, you can look at this and you can't see an armor mark, really. Um, again, death mark. It's, I think it's a death, ma death mask. Uh, it's a thing for the Blood Angels. Um, he's a very nice model. He looks awesome, I see. Uh, how I see it. Um, and... My friend, who's a Blood Angels player, also uses him as a Praetor. Uh, the axe could be, I think, a Blade of Perdition. I don't know if the Blades of Perdition are all swords or not. But yeah, basically, again, a nice Praetor or whatever you want to use him for, for your Blood Angels and the Horus Heresy. And then we have this dude. Uh, he's a Mark VI armor. And he is perfectly usable in the Horus Heresy. Um, but you have to keep in mind, not every legion around in the Horus Heresy like librarians. So 
maybe if you want an uh, Iron Warriors librarian, think about it twice because the Iron Warriors didn't really like librarians. Quite frankly, Pert Rabo hated them. Um, so, yeah. And also, if you want to use him as a traitor, you would have to remove the Winged Skull because that's something the Loyalists uh, started wearing in the Horus Heresy. To uh, be, uh, it was a badge of honor, kinda, and it's even described in the book Wolf Spain. So read a book, and then you don't have to get angry in the comments. And then now we have the best thing ever, the best model ever made by GW. Um, I am not taking any second opinions on this. This is the most magnificent dreadnought ever. It is the box knot. Um, perfectly usable in the Horus Heresy. There's no problem with using this model. You can't use the assault uh, the assault cannon, sadly, but you can use most of its other weapons. I think it only comes with a light last cannon and a rocket launcher anyway. But you can use those two and the fists. Um, again, if you put on the t the fist, maybe not use the storm bolter. Try to replace it with a combi bolter, but you kind of see the pattern here now. Otherwise, it's a perfectly fine model to use in the Horus Heresy. Box knots were around in the Horus Heresy, and there was even a couple of box no box knots mentioned in the Horus Heresy stories, so they weren't that uncommon. And then we have these dudes. Um, this is uh, this is the most uh, amazing collection of models uh, of spaceman character models you can find. Yes, these are all made of resin, but you basically get four characters for twenty five euros uh, for sixty twenty six euros. Okay, so. Basically, that's Mark VI, an artificer armor. So that goes in the heresy. This is a GW style Mark II. This style, if you see this on a model, trim and studs, this is GW style Mark II. This dude is in full Mark III. This is GW style Mark III. I'm not making this up. If you look at the history of the armor, uh, kit, this is GW style Mark III. I own these two models. I own them all, all of them. Uh, this is a Mark III GW style Mark III uh, shoulder pad. This is a GW style Mark II. And if you want to get cheesy, this Praetor has a Paragon blade and a Power Fist. So, perfectly fine. This dude is a Mark VI. Mark VI armor goes. Fine. Um, you can replace the bolter arm, which I would say you should do. And with all of these, you need to replace the backpacks. But the bolter arm, you can just remove it and you don't have the bolter anymore. Even though these bolters, the Godwin pattern, they were around in the Horse Heresy. There's multiple artworks in the black books that depicts space marines with godwin pattern uh, bolters and that means they are in the heresy the black books are the supreme source of law for the horus heresy then you have this dude he has a gw style mark three uh, mark three shoulder plate crux terminatus that you would need to remove like with everyone everyone else the legs are kind of mark 7e mark 70 yeah but add some studs add some cables or something to this and he's fine you can't use the storm shield because storm shields weren't around in the horus heresy but this this could be a breacher shield for you um this is also an awesome model this one i don't own anymore but um I've made a cool looking Space Wolf character for the Horus Heresy out of him. Basically, the Masters of the Chapter uh, pack is 
the best way to get generic un uh, un legion specific HQs for the Horus Heresy for the cheapest price out there. So, thank you all for listening. Have a good day. I go and lay down now because after almost dying to a heat wave in Germany, I got a cold. This is how Germany works. Thanks, Germany. Never change. Thank you all for listening. Have a good day. Stay healthy. Keep making heresy armies. Don't uh, don't fall for the internet negativity. Goodbye.